we furnish with this pump a vacuum gauge. It will go in this inch and a quarter tap right here. Of course, you're going to use a coupling and another adapter to put your inch and a quarter pipe together. You're going to have a one inch nipple that goes in your one inch tap. and your one inch pipe is going to connect to this. You're gonna to have to take this out to prime the pump to make sure that you have water in the case. Put it back in. The pump comes with a pressure switch back here and a pressure gauge. The regulator, as I said earlier, has to be an accessory item and it is used to set the injector where the volume from the injector and the pump equalize. Now we come back to the motor. Of course your pump's going to be mounted. Make sure it's in a good solid stationary position. Here again we have a slide switch back here for your voltage. It comes from the factory. 230 volts. If you have 115 you're just going to move this slide switch to the 115 volt position. Again make sure your power is off when you're doing this. This is the pressure switch. Take your cap off. It already comes set 3050, which means on at 30 pounds, off at 50 pounds. Bring your power, which will come through here. You bring your two wires to the outside points of this pressure switch. Tighten your screws up. Put your cover back on. and you're going to start the pump because it's already primed. What's going to happen, you're going to see this gauge fluctuating and what you want to do with your regulator is keep tightening it up or out, whichever, till that needle steadies. Then you will go ahead and use your lock nut and your injector is set and you should be operating at that point.